Hi, this is Bob Domenz, CEO of Avenue, here today for Branding Magazine with Amy Negrelli, the Chief Marketing and Technology Officer of CUNA. We're here today to talk about the role of the CMO as a strategic change agent for B2B organizations. It's great to be here. Thanks, Bob. So why do you see the CMO as uniquely qualified to be a, a strategic change agent within their organization? I don't know about other CMOs, but I know in my position, you, you kind of have to be really a very right brain, left brain person. And so you need to spend time on relationships and understanding how to creatively bring something to life. You also really need to understand the business and you need to understand uh, the data that's going to help drive decisions. You need to understand results. Uh, marketing is in a really interesting position in that you know, we've got to see both sides of that equation. And that plugs us in in a way that maybe other groups uh, within an organization don't. Maybe one way to think of it as marketing is, is the integrator across an organization. Marketing really has not just the opportunity, I think, but the responsibility to connect the different parts of an organization. It's, um, it's been really important for us to pull different groups together. And as an example, one way we've done that is we really focus on our audience when we go to market. And so we'll bring together everyone in the trade association that has direct connection to credit union lenders, for example, who have no reason to meet other than marketing said, y'all need to get together. And we call them quarterly connects. We, so we bring everybody together. We've got an agenda to talk about what's going on in this space. What are you guys hearing? Uh, what are people using? What are their pain points? Uh, what are kind of conferences are they going to? What kind of products are they buying? Really, the, the whole gamut of what's going on, you know, for, for instance, with lenders. And we're able to cultivate a conversation because we're in this real integrator role that's important not just to marketing but really to the organizations. Are you seeing then that your role in part is, broadly speaking, a facilitator uh, within the business? Yeah, I, I think we're definitely facilitators. Probably... Um, we're facilitators with an agenda. A colleague of mine used to jokingly call that facipulation, that we'd have a particular <laughs> objective in mind and uh, kind of drive a meeting or drive a conversation forward. There are some really tactical things that our team does that helps that to happen. Uh, we often set the meeting. We often propose the agenda. We typically facilitate the meeting. We have all the different mm -hmm. handouts and structure and everything else ready to go. We work with finance to have the numbers ready ahead of time. Uh, and it's really on the marketing team to be as prepared as possible to make that a, a very productive, very valuable um, hour or whatever, you know, whatever meeting slot we have. In the role of integrator, is there also a role, reciprocally if you will, where you are an instigator? <laughs> and if so, what does that look like? Well, I'm probably always an instigator. Uh, I love instigators. We've got lots of instigators on the team. Yeah, I think maybe the trick is to know when to be a subtle instigator, when to uh, lead change without people really even knowing that that's what's happening. And, uh, and then there's a time to get up and say, hey, folks, we've got to go this way, and I'm going to challenge you, and I'm going to push hard on this, and I'm going to um, make you a little bit uncomfortable and, and drive you forward. There will be moments in time as a marketer where you need to hold your ground and you need to point the flag forward and tell everyone we've got to go this way. Uh, or or you, you won't move, you won't be able to, to effectively tell your story, you won't be able to kind of get the big things done that an organization needs you to do. Mm -hmm.